Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, and it's time for our Wednesday Bible study. I have but three verses of Scripture uh, that I want to uh, pass on to you today and to talk about. There's three verses. That is from the 11th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, and it's the 28th, 29th, and the 30th verse. And I promise you, these are just three verses of Scripture, but these are so powerful, and, I, and it's, this is the truth. It can change burdens into crowns. And I, I, I hope that I can convey that as we go through these three verses. So that, that being said, uh, let's, let's go ahead and begin. And I'll begin reading at the 28th verse of the 11th chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus speaking says, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. May the Lord add a blessing to this reading. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pray that you would have us to become not only hearers of your word, but that we would become doers of your word. And Lord, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation on my heart will be acceptable in your sight, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. I said that these three, these three lines, these three verses of Scripture can turn burdens into crowns. Let's go back and take a look at them. Jesus says, come to me. Now that would tell me that I'm somewhere else and I'm going to come to him. That, wouldn't that seem to be logical? Come to me. You are somewhere else, and you want, come on over here and be with me. That, that to me, is powerful within itself, because it assumes we're not always there. And that would be right assumption, I would think, because I'm not always in the right mind. I'm not always in the right spirit. I'm not always in the right character. I'm not always the right me. So that's the way life is. Come to me, said Jesus. And the more times you come to me, you're going to find there's something going on inside you that you may not be able to explain. But man, it's powerful in there, and it's going to make a tremendous change in your life. It will. It will do it. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens. Now, carrying heavy burdens. Now, to the people Jesus was talking to, man, these people did have heavy burdens. All they knew about God, and they, all they knew about God was God is a very demanding God. God gets angry very easily to them. That's what they knew. God gets angry very easily. It's very difficult to please God because I can't be perfect, and God demands me to be perfect. And wow, I don't think I, don't think I can live that way. It gets pretty heavy here living to be perfect. And I just have to stand there and wait. I'm going to have to take my punishment because I cannot be that perfect person. That's heavy. That's a burden. But maybe, <laughs> just maybe, if I act perfect, wow, they found out that they could still do right actions even when they didn't want to do right actions, even when their heart wasn't into it, it could appear to be the right way to do things. It could be a peer of being perfect, as God wanted them to be perfect, even to the point where they started to believe it for themselves. If they say it enough, it becomes true to them. And it did become true to them, but the weight was still there. It was powerfully heavy and wearisome to live in that manner. And they knew so little about God. If they knew who God truly was for them, they wouldn't have that burden. I know at this time, the Greeks had a saying at the time of Jesus. They said, you know, 
If someone wanted to know about God, that's almost impossible. But what is even worse is even if you know something about God, it is impossible to tell somebody else about God. And and the point was, knowing God is almost impossible. That was before Jesus Christ came into the picture. Because until Jesus came, until the cross and the resurrection and, and the amazing, wonderful, unconditional love and grace came, people had to live almost a double life. I can't be perfect, but I can act perfect. I can pretend perfection. And this probably would please God because I'm doing the right things, or at least appearing to do the right things. Wow, what a burden that is upon someone to always have to appear perfect. And it gives a two personas. That gives the me persona that I have in my total isolation when nobody else is around. I have a (laughs) me-me. My my me is not the same as the that out there. Not always. Not always. And I think almost everybody has a that person and a me person. And what we're trying to do is get rid of the that person and just let the me person be complete. And the more complete the me person is in God through Jesus Christ, the more peace that we have with inside. And the more we realize that I don't have to be perfect to be a, a, that perf- person of perfection. That God loves me just the way I am. I'm not a perfect person, but I'm God's imperfect person. And that's okay. God understands that. God gives us something more God gives us something, something that's so powerful that all of this burden, all of these things we think as a sacrifice can stop being burdens and sacrifices and can begin being crowns. He says, Jesus says, You that are weary and carrying these heavy burdens, I will give you rest, come to me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. I am gentle and humble in heart. I am your compassion. I am your mercy. I am your unconditional love. I have the perfect empathy with your sorrow. I have the perfect understanding of your joy. I have the perfect of everything who you are within me. And I see you for exactly who you are. And I love you anyway. I love you and I receive you anyway. I will give you that rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The word here that is uh, in that we have for my yoke, yoke is easy. The word easy in, in the Greek that it was given really means well fitted for. You know, if you have a, a, a yoke on an animal and if it's not well fitted, it, 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 it it is painful. It is painful, and it's a, it's a, becomes no wonder you call them beast of burden, because they have the burden of that yoke if it's if it's just not perfect for them. So Jesus is saying, the yoke that I have is fitted to you. It is who you are, where you are, and you can carry this, and it doesn't have to. be this burden. It doesn't have to be a sorrow. It doesn't have to be exhausting. It doesn't have to be wearisome. Oh, it might not be easy. It may be a little difficult at times. But I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you this right now, says Jesus, you will be able to carry this in a very special manner. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My burden is light. All right, let, let, me, uh, let me tell you a story. <laughs> it's a true story. And it's how that I've carried this for a long time, thinking about this burden that becomes a crown. 
And I've, I, this happened 40 years ago. 40 years ago. And I carry it with me right now. It was a time when all my children were very, very small. And I won't use their names because I've, I've done that enough in churches and embarrassed them that I know better than to do that now. I mean, they're, they got my Facebook page. Um, but they all had the flu. All four kids had the flu. Oh, man, they were sick. And they were miserable, and they were cranky, and they were throwing up over and over. Actually, it was coming out of both hands, to be honest. And I was just at a point where I was just ready to give up on this. And I, I was going down, rushing three of them. I don't know where the fourth was. I was rushing three of them down towards the bathroom because they are all looked like they were going to just burst out and throw up. And I came running down to the hallway, and the oldest looked at me, and she had this big full face that said, I can't hold this any longer. And I, I yelled, no, I can't do this one more time. I can't clean up one more mess. And wow, out it came, shooting projectile vomit down the hallway. And she stood there and she had this frightened look. I mean, I had yelled, no, I can't do this. I can't clean this up one more time. And when I saw that frightened look, I hugged her and I said, I love you. <laughs> I think it helped her. I think it did. I think she might have still been a little frightened. But I was trying to say, it's okay. You're not a burden. You're my crown because I love you. You're my crown. And that's how I felt. It was real. And any real act of love, any real act of love becomes a crown. A real crown. And from that moment on, it's just, it's just, it's amazing when we can really feel that unconditional love, the amazing grace that we can give to someone. There's no burden. There's just a crown. And that, that's what Jesus was saying here. I have so much unconditional love and amazing grace for you. And if you can surround it and you can bring it into your heart and you can make it part of your soul, it's going to spill out. It's going to spill out for others. And you can cover them with the same. There are so many people out there that need hugs. <laughs> and we are the people who need to be hugging. i got to tell you that. The, 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 the love that you give is nothing in comparison of how much you need to give it. Because when you really need from the inside of your soul to give it, it becomes the true crown, the true glory that you can feel in your life. And nobody can take that away. Nobody. And that's who we need to be. The imperfect person with the love of God that's not afraid to give the love of God. And that's, there's no more burden. There's no more burden. There's only a crown. That's what the amazing grace of God is for us. May God bless us. I'll see you on Sunday morning. How about that? Amen. FDTV. One more, you guys. We're ready.
that say you rest like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I'm free. Boys of Alabama here on the Iverson Open Program. Quite a